The first question is about uh, Emily, because in the first uh, episodes of the second part, we see that uh, uh, she talks about her family and uh, the tradition of Christmas and everything. So I was wondering, because we didn't see a lot about it. So uh, I was wondering if, you, if there's something that you'd like to explore more in the uh, future episodes. And what was your idea about uh, Emily's family? Yeah, I definitely would love to explore more of her life in Chicago. I think her family could come visit her if we get to do another season. Um, I think it's really important as we get to know the other characters that we continue to get to know Emily as well because, you know, we've, we've seen her grow so much. I think it would be fun to see her family see her in this environment. Um, and I think that her family is just completely very filled with love and humor because Emily is filled with love and humor so it would make sense that that came from her and maybe some rowdy sibling or siblings or something. And about uh, your relationship with Ashley because it's so amazing and funny in the real life and in the series and uh, there is this amazing scene where she's singing in the piazza and everything so I was wondering how much did you feel the emotion that we see in Emily when uh, she was watching her. Every time Ashley sings, I cry. It doesn't matter if it's a funny song, a sweet song, an emotional song, I just lose it. So anytime I get to watch her, it's, it's just the most lucky experience and I just, I adore her. So we always start crying. <laughs> And uh, also in the second part, there is uh, an amazing moment with uh, the first lady. Yes. <laughs> so I was wondering, how did it come, this uh, scene? From, did, she's really a fan of the uh, series. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, she asked Darren and I to get together a couple of years ago, and she expressed her love of the show and appreciation for what it's done for Paris and, and um, France. And she loved her little cameo in season one, but she wanted to actually show her face in this season. So she, she wanted to come back and uh, it, was, it was wonderful. She was so kind and funny and she improved and we had the best time. It was so wonderful. And the uh, new entry in the second uh, part is uh, Genevieve. So I was wondering how was it because it's uh, like a little Emily. So yeah. how did you uh, develop that uh, relationship? But it's like a mentor, but then uh, there is uh, yeah. something. Yeah, it was funny <laughs> because the whole time I'm, I was still asking Darren, I'm like, does she know that there's something off? And he's like, I don't know. We just have to kind of find it. Um, because I like the not knowing, uh, because you can kind of play into it multiple different ways then. But it was really fun to have kind of like a little Emily like running around behind me as Emily because I got to share some things I've learned. Um, but also, you know, keep an eye out. And it, the dynamic was really fun to play. It was something different that I hadn't had yet. So it was, it was new. And in the press conference, you talk about the importance of, of uh, um, have a partnership with new designer and find them. And so I was wondering from Rome, what was uh, this uh, part of the series? Did you ask someone specifically to do a dress for Emily? Not for Rome. Uh, Marilyn, our amazing costume designer, she was the one that really outsourced and outreached to the designers here. Um, but if we get to go to another season, I would love to be a part of that. We found a lot of vintage pieces that I wore this season. Um, in Rome, there was like a vintage Alaya piece, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to speak properly on all of the costumes here, but, and we were only here for a short amount of time, but I am so excited if we get to do another season to dive into Italian fashion, because we all know that Italian fashion is one of the great like it's literally my favorite and uh, last question is about uh, a funny one because a uh, great mystery is where mindy and uh, emily t take all the clothes because there are so it's a many mystery. clothes and lots I of know. people are asking i know about it's a great it. question <laughs> my thought is either there's um, a storage unit maybe in the building yeah. or i don't know i don't really know or there's like you know some boxes hidden somewhere it is a mystery but at the end of the day they get to wear really cool clothes, and the storage isn't as important. <laughs> and did you take anything from the set? No, no. I'm not allowed, sadly. Would you like to? I would love to. <laughs> There's so many outfits of Camis, actually, that I would oh. like to steal. Yeah. So I was wondering about CV because every season we find out something else, and it's so amazing and entertaining. So I was wondering if you were surprised about her life in Italy, and uh, if there is something that she, you ask maybe to add something about her story. Oh no, I, I never ask anything to Darren. Oh, <laughs> I let him. I let his, his imagination run wild because he has so much. Mm. Uh, and no, it's it's. Um, 
It was, it's always surprising. It's always like every season I'm like, oh, okay, this is a new life. This is a new backstory I didn't know about. And it's great. It's so much fun. So much fun. And uh, your character is so amazing because we see Emily, that's a new generation, when there is your character. So I was wondering, have you ever thought about to spin off about her? Because it's... Uh, it has so Talk much. about what? A uh, spin-off. A spin-off, spin yes. Yeah. Well, you know, then we would lose her from Emily and Paris. We can't afford to lose Sylvie. That, that means no. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Not today. Okay. And uh, here in Rome, we are new characters. Uh, and I uh, was wondering if you have any problem, because there are so many, so you uh, have any ideas that you have to cut uh, during the editing or anything? Because Problem is, filming, you mean? Yeah, I mean, there is so many stories and uh, characters. So. Well, that's what we do, you know. I think it keeps the show interesting. It makes it interesting to write. And, um, and yeah, there are, um, there are a lot of characters, but I think Emily's world just keeps expanding. The world of the show expands. And, you know, we're coming to Rome with the new, yes, and, and meeting new people here. And about Sylvie, because uh, she doesn't interact a lot with um, maybe Mindy or any other characters. If there is anyone that you like to have a, a new story, a new, uh, a new part. Well, I think she, she's more into her work. So her work is the two boys, Bruno and Samuel and Emily. I mean, Luc and Julien and Emily. And uh, the rest is, is Emily's life, Emily's stories. Even though we had an interaction with, uh, uh, with uh, Mindy, Gabriel. With, with, no, Mindy, with, also. with Gabriel in season one, and oh, it never yeah. happened again. Yeah, yeah. And we're saying, oh, we, have, we should have it again. Uh, and yeah, there's an interaction with Mindy this time because of the, the, Luca, uh, the Louis de Neon story. Um, yeah, and I think we were saying that she doesn't have friends. She's not, she's not a friend person. Uh, I think she likes, yeah, as we said, she likes men friends. Um, yeah, it's just, she has a different, it's a different, you know, you know it's a different part of the series. Different year. worlds. It's a different world. And in the second part, there is the Genevieve, that's a new entry, and it's so interesting because it's like a little Emily, but it's in yeah. the life, a personal life of oh. CV. So I was wondering, how did you develop? Because it's similar, but it's totally different for a personal aspect. Well, it, it, when Genevieve comes in, she's like like the daughter I didn't want to have that's there suddenly. Mm. And and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm both like trying to take care of her and I, I just want to kick her out of the house too. So it's like, there, it's very conflictual with her because uh, she's my, my husband's daughter. I can't, you know, be mean to her, but I can't not even be nice to her. It's like, there's something really conflictual <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, it's the daughter I didn't want to have and it makes Sylvie a sort of mother for a second. And it's, uh, it's kind of fun to do. It's... And uh, Darren, there is a, a cameo from uh, the French lady, a first lady. So I was wondering, how did it come out? We say uh, she's a fan, or did yes, you get I mean, well, she was in. You know, we the character of, of Madame Macron was in the very first episode, but it wasn't really her. We shot just somebody from behind, and yeah, I think she, she was a fan, and and um, we asked, and she said yes. So it was uh, it was amazing to have her, and and so much fun to sort of like have her as a nice surprise on the show. And did you ever get surprised by the reaction? Maybe someone but asked you to come and uh, make an appearance? Has someone else? Yes. Um, not like that, but uh, the, you know, it's, I think it would, would have to be the right person because I really wanted her to come on the show like this because she was already on the show. So it, it, it you know, even though it wasn't her, but the character of Bridget McCrone was on the show, so it made sense, you know to have her come, to actually have her come on the show. And the last question obviously is about Rome because there are so many iconic landscapes and everything, but there is something that, uh, some places that maybe you didn't get the permission to shoot and uh, you like to in the future? Uh, well, you know, we'll think about next season and we'll, but we've got very lucky in terms of where we, where we were able to film this season. We really were it got to film where we where, where we wanted to and I think we, we covered a lot of the city in a very short time, but uh, as, a, as hopefully the story continues in Rome, we'll, we'll find more amazing places to film here. The first question is about your relationship in the series because it's so fun. And um, in this uh, second part, there are some interesting pitch when uh, you are there with uh, the clients and everything. So I was wondering if you have any chance of improvising that uh, element or story. 
uh, posso risponderti sì, in italiano? Certo. Allora, ti devo dire che eh, non c'è quasi mai improvvisazione. Veramente siamo vicinissimi al copione, ma anche alle battute. E ti spiego anche il, il perché. Non avrei la possibilità col mio angle, inglese di improvvisare. <ride> Quindi posso, e anche Samuel ovviamente, mettere la mia fantasia, la mia gestualità uh -huh. eh, a servizio della storia del, delle battute, però l'improvvisazione non c'è, che poi sia, sono tempi ridotti, abbiamo un programma molto importante da, da gestire e per quello dobbiamo essere sul pezzo, veramente, però la, la, la cosa positiva è che con Samuel abbiamo un'alchimia immediata, quindi ci capiamo bene, per esempio quando facciamo nella seconda parte il pitch per la storia dei bambini, sai i, i babies, yeah. è, è stato tra di noi che l'abbiamo lavorata, studiata e dopo abbiamo proposto questo And Samuel, in the, first, uh, in the previous episodes, uh, your relationship with Emily wasn't uh, so great. I mean, there is a little bit of uh, competition and everything. So right now there is Genevieve that's coming in and uh, you're a little bit protective. So I was wondering, how did you approach this part? Because there is a, a development in uh, your friendship. Uh, you know, it was, I was a bit nostalgic. I was like, it took me back four years ago, first episode, uh, season one, because like she's just a mini Emily. Maybe with a little twist, you know, we'll see in part two. But uh, it was great. First of all, uh, Talia is amazing, the actress. She's amazing. She's so cute. She's, she, she's, she, she's amazing. She's great. It was great working with her. And I don't know, I felt like Julian was more, first of all, again, another one. And second of all, uh, don't come take the spot of Emily, because Emily's my girl, basically. That's, uh, I, I feel like that's what Julian... Uh, And Bruno, I saw you at the Olympic Games uh, this yeah. summer, so, and there was a great reaction of the public when you were there with uh, everything and introduction of the competition. So I was wondering, because there is uh, something uh, um, about the series, sometimes uh, French people said, uh, oh no, it's not a great uh, portrait of uh, France uh, and uh, Paris. So I was wondering if you see that uh, it's changing this opinion because there is more warmth again in, about the series right now. Sì, non ti potrei dire, perché è difficile di riassumere, sai, un'opinione generale, in effetti tante critiche sono state fatte alla serie, però conosco anche tanti francesi che la amano, ti devo dire che l'accoglienza durante i giochi olimpici è stata fantastica, ma c'era il mondo, e quindi anche questa è una cosa allucinante che, che percepisco facendo Emily in Paris, gente del Giappone, dell'Australia, dell'Argentina mi vengono a trovare dicendomi eh, mi piace la tua comicità e ti accorgi che il potere dell'umorismo è internazionale, questa lingua è mondiale nel senso che faccio ridere tante culture, e, ovviamente non puoi piacere a tutti, e ci sono alcuni francesi a che, a che, a che non piace questa serie ma ci sono anche tanti che, che la adorano. And about your character, because in the series there are so many characters and new entries right now, so I was wondering if there is a character that you would like to interact more in the future. Yeah, oh, everyone. So many. Ashley, for example, Ash, Mindy. Yeah. I'd, love, I'd love to have a scene with uh, Ashley and both of us. Yeah. That would be, uh, that'd be very fun. And like, there's so many characters like to make some crossovers. Like, I have no scene with Lucien. I have, oh, yeah, I have yeah. zero scenes with Lucien. One, and it was so... Yeah, so I'd love to have a scene with Lucien and, uh, and everyone that I never... Like Camille, sometimes she comes to the office, sometimes Camille, but yeah. And the last question is about, uh, uh, obviously, the growth of your character, because at the beginning we saw them and they are like a secondary character, and right now the main characters, in a way. So I was wondering, how did you ask, if you ask something to... No, uh, you didn't no, no, uh, no d d I didn't ask. You ask? <laughs> But I didn't get. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask, and uh, I don't think, do you know, as, a, as an actor, You, 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 you take what's given to you and then it's your job to, uh, you know, to tell the story the way, the way you want to tell it, you know, and uh, with the help of your director and da, 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 da. But it's not your job to, you know, to tell what's going to happen. This yeah. is the job of the writer, of the writer. Unless you're the writer and the actor. Sometimes that happens, you know. But that's not our case. So we, 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 we like to be inspired by the writers 
and Darren, and they've been doing amazing so far, so I trust them blindly. Tuna sandwich? No. Okay. <laughs> the first yeah. question is about uh, the strange relationship in that apartment, because it's uh, so funny, because there is Camille, and then there is Mindy and Emily, and uh, obviously Gabriel, but uh, you don't interact a lot between you two, and uh, it's something that I really miss, because... Mindy is so amazing and so funny, so I was wondering, did you ever ask to have more scenes together? I mean, uh, it's only on a daily basis. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like truly all the time. I actually think that they would have been, I mean, to be <clears throat> frank, I was um, ill for part of filming this season, and so I came in late, and so it was nice that I was included at all in the season, but I mean, if I, ha I'm, one of my biggest sadnesses is uh, that we, I think we say seven words to each seven other words, this whole literally. season, but yeah. um, she's such a big part of my Emily in Paris experience. And then, Luke, I o opened the door for you many a times, but <laughs> I, there's always a little, p and like, I know you're, so many times I'm like, Emily's not here. <laughs> I'll be on your way out. And also, one of my first scenes on Emily in Paris was, was with Ashley when she's like, uh, bon appetit, him. And it was an, oh, that it, was your first it scene. was an improvised scene, and he, he, for me, represented something uh, very important because it gave me the first, you know, when you, when you arrive on a new show, you don't really know what the, the what the the atmosphere, what the the, the melody is going to be. So we had to tune in our instruments to that melody and create something. And then after that scene, I was like, oh, I I, I felt comfortable within the humor and the love and the and then the different dynamics. So we, I think we spent most of season one and two asking Darren for scenes together, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just gave up because Darren is like a little child. He does it, anything he wants and <laughs> he doesn't care about it. Well, I think he kept on adding char different characters for every person. Also, and then, yeah. we all, then we have all of our own different stuff. But um, I, like to, I like to think uh, there's definitely this stuff going on and Mindy Shad and stuff down to them and whatever mm -hmm. throughout the throughout the apartment building. And uh, in the second part, Camille takes uh, some, uh, such an interesting uh, uh, decision about adoption and it's a film that is really adult and maybe you don't expect in a, in a series that is so light and so funny. So I was wondering how did you approach that part of the story and uh, why do you think uh, that she takes that decision? Thank you for pointing that. Um, honestly, as an actress, when I read the script, I was like, I don't understand it, to be frank. Uh, but reading it and reading it and pl playing it as an actor, I was like, that actually does make sense yeah. because maybe her new Are you purpose, an, actor? <laughs> uh, an actress, <laughs> but maybe her new purpose in life is becoming a mom no matter what. And I think what Camille does this season is to create this family. She was supposed to have this baby with Gabriel. Gabriel is family, family to her. And then Sofia comes in the game and she wants to create this modern family. And then Sofia is gone. So what's left? Nothing. So she wants to have this baby That's actually so super bad. brave now that I think about it in terms of like she held on to not telling Gabrielle and not telling anyone because mm. she thought she needed other people for her family so badly now can come from I think that scene between you and um, Lily when you when you part ways is like really really beautifully done thank you and actually, you obviously there is this beautiful scene where you sing here in Rome, and uh, also there are some uh, cover because you, we see in Crazy Horse you have to sing this funny uh, song and everything. So, uh, did you ever think about uh, singing in Italian, maybe? Oh, oh I would wow. love to. I actually, yeah. I mean, when I was, uh, well, I definitely never intended to perform with the Crazy Horse, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, when I was younger, I was classically trained before I ever did musical theater or anything. And so my be my first songs I ever learned were like Amri Amri I can't say it now. Like Caro Mio Ben, Amri Le Mio Belle. You know, I learned uh, classical singing through the Italian language, which I think is beautiful. So yeah, I'd love to. And uh, about the scene because it's so <coughs> emotional. So I was wondering how much did you rehearse it, or you just come here and uh, feel, and you wanted to feel for the first time? Oh, um, why well, uh, this, the song was, uh, I, I believe I got the sheet music and the lyrics for the song the day before we sh shot it. So, what? um, yeah, so I think that, wow. but for me, it was coming from such a real place and I understood, and I also it was the last thing that I shot of the season and there were a lot of emotions. And so what you're seeing on the screen is a lot of, um, it was probably, of all the scenes I've done on the show, the most uh, in of my soul infused in with Mindy's soul in that moment. Um, so yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I rehearsed it. I know I knew what the song meant, and I always go uh, 
from the lyrics in, in singing because you have to sing what you mean. So yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for your.